Hello friends, welcome to the Fundamental Pharmacy. Today we are going to discuss about the opium alkaloids. Opium alkaloids are important for GPAT Niper, Drug Inspector, Pharmacist and other Pharma Competitive Examination. So, alkaloids. opium alkaloids are the class of iso isoquinoline alkaloids which are biosynthesized from tryptophan amino acid. So, opium consists of isoquinoline alkaloids which are biosynthesized from tryptophan amino acid. So, what are the synonyms of opium? Opium, opium is also known as opium is also known as raw opium or afim. It is also known as gum opium. So, what is the biological source for opium? It is a dried latex obtained from the unripe capsule of papaverum somniferum. Dried latex obtained from unripe capsule of papaverum somniferum family papaveraceae, and it should contain not less than 9.5% of total alkaloids calculated, calculated as a morphine on an address basis. Okay, it should contain not less than 2% of codeine and 3% of thebane. So, what is the cultivation and collection? So, next important point is cultivation and collection. So, cultivation and collection aspects, cultivation collection and other aspect of opium are strictly governed by government. Because opium consists of narcotic drugs, narcotic alkaloids, so their cultivation and collection is restricted and they are governed by government only. So, opium poppy is grown in November to March and the propagation is done by seeds by mixing it with sand. Because the seeds are very small in size, that's why they are mixed with sand and requires high fertile soil. After sowing within two after sowing within 3 or 4 months, plant bears a flower, which flowers in turn converted to capsule within few days and attain, attain the maturity. After attaining the maturity, you can identify whether it is the capsule is mature or not. Capsule turns dark green to light green. That means if the capsule is dark green that is unmature and capsule is light green that is capsule is mature. Okay, so next one is next one, next point is nastar. Nastar is a needle used to make incision to the opium poppy. So incision is made made in the afternoon, and the drug is collected in next morning. Why? Because in the afternoon the cut is given to the opium poppy using nastar. The latex will come out. It will ooze out, and uh, in in the morning the weather is cool and because of that cool weather it will it will coagulate it will coagulate and it is collected in the morning by scraping with iron scrub which is known as charpala which is known as charpala and the needle used to make incision is known as nastar okay so the incision procedure is repeated four times on the same capsule within the within two days of interval and it is collected in the plastic container okay so next important point is next important point is chemical constituent. So what are the chemical constituent? Of, what are the chemical constituent of opium? So chemical constituent of opium is divided into three class. Okay. Opium alkaloids are divided into three class. First one is phenanthrin type of alkaloids. First one is phenanthrin type of alkaloids. It will it will have three rings. That is three phenyl rings that is why they are known as phenanthrin type of alkaloid. What are the examples of phenanthrin type of alkaloids? That is morphine, codeine and thebane. These are the phenanthrin alkaloids. The second class is benzyl isoquinoline alkaloids. Second class is benzyl isoquinoline. Second class is benzyl isoquinoline alkaloids. So what are the example? Narcotin, narcin and papaverin. Narcotin, narcin and papaverin are the examples of benzyl isoquinoline group out of which narcotin is also known as narcotin is also known as nascopin narcotin is also known as nascopin next class is cryptopine group that is cryptopine alkaloids out of uh, in this group protopine and cryptopine are the examples okay protopine and cryptopine are the examples 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज ऑल ओपीएम अल्कोलाइड आर प्रेजेंट एज अ साल्ट ऑफ मेकोइक एसिड ऑल ओपीएम अल्कोलाइड आर प्रेजेंट एज अ साल्ट ऑफ मेकोइक एसिड ओके रिमेम्बर दिस लाइन नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज मॉर्पिन इज मोनो एसिडिक लिवर रोटरी एंड ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ फिनोलिक हाइड्रोजिल ग्रुप इट इज सोलिबिन सोलिबल इन अल्कली हाइड्रोक्साइड बट इट इज नॉट सोलिबल इन अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिमेम्बर दिस लाइन ओपीएम अल्कोलाइड आर सोलिबल इन अल्कली हाइड्रोक्साइड एक्सेप्ट अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड लेस सोलिबिलिटी इन वाटर एंड अदर ऑर्गेनिक सोलवेंट ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज कोडिन कोडिन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग मोनो एसिडिक बेस इट इज लिवर रोटरी सोलिबल इन वाटर एंड ऑर्गेनिक सोलवेंट नेक्स्ट वन इज पापा वेरियन नेक्स्ट वन इज पापा वेरियन सो पापा वेरियन इज मोन वीक मोनो एसिडिक बेस विच इज ऑप्टिकली इन एक्टिव सोलिबल इन ऑर्गेनिक सोलवेंट रिमेम्बर आउट ऑफ मॉर्फिन कोडिन थिबेन पापावेरिन पापावेरिन इज ऑप्टिकली इनएक्टिव रिमेम्बर दिस पापावेरिन इज ऑप्टिकली इनएक्टिव ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज व्हाट आर द यूजेस ऑफ मॉर्फिन अल्कोलाइड्स व्हाट आर द यूजेस ऑफ मॉर्फिन व्हाट आर द यूजेस ऑफ ओपियम अल्कोलाइड्स सो मॉर्फिन इज यूज्ड एज एनालजेसिक इन केस ऑफ कैंसर पेन कोडिन इज एंटीडेसिव एंड एज वेल एज एनालजेसिक देन पापावेरिन इज एंटीस्पाज्मोडिक पापावेरिन इज एंटीस्पाज्मोडिक ओके so what are the chemical test for opium alkaloids so chemical test for opium alkaloids so first one is first one is test due to mecoic acid test due to presence of mecoic acid it will give deep reddish purple color with ferric chloride opium alkaloids will give deep reddish purple color with ferric chloride color which persists after addition of ferric uh, after addition of hydrochloric acid the color will persist after addition of hydrochloric acid and this color is due to the presence of mecoic acid okay so next one is when morphine morphine when sprinkled on nitric acid it, it will give orange red color this test is not given by codeine so next test is morphine solution with potassium ferrocyanide and ferric chloride will give bluish green color and this test also not given by codeine next one is morphine with sulfuric acid and formaldehyde will give dark violet color okay morphine with sulfuric acid and formaldehyde will give dark blue dark violet color next one is papaverin solution in hydrochloric acid will give lemon yellow color with potassium ferrocyanide solution so these are the chemical test these are the chemical test for next point is persian opium then persian opium then turkish opium and then chinese opium so there are four varieties of commercial varieties of opium indian opium persian opium turkish opium and chinese opium so remember this um, four names along with that turkish opium is also known as druggist opium or soft opium so turkish opium is known as Druggist opium or soft opium. This is opium crop. You can see here. You can see here the opium uh, opium plants are there. You can see these are the capsules. These are the capsules. These are the flowers. And after maturity, the flowers will convert it into capsule. Okay. This is opium poppy. This is opium poppy. You can see the cuts are given to the opium poppy using. that instrument known as nastar you can see the latex is latex is oozing out that is white latex okay this latex this latex is collected in the morning cuts are given in afternoon and latex is collected in the morning with the help of instrument known as charpala this is the instrument that is known as charpala which is nothing but a iron scoop iron scoop which is used to scrap the latex that has been oozed out from opium poppy okay so that's all these are the important points from opium alkaloids okay thank you for watching this video i am sachin jadhav from fundamental pharmacy winding up today's session and if you want this kind of notes and material you can contact me on these numbers we have different kind of whatsapp groups we have more than 30 free whatsapp groups one paid whatsapp group 
in that paid whatsapp group we used to send these kind of notes if you want these kind of notes you can join paid group by messaging me you can join our free group just you have to message your name and uh, college name on this number we also have separate group for girls if you like the content of this tutorial please like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel fundamental pharmacy and press the bell icon to get the notifications of new videos okay thank you